boy Young. You already know I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, all that you do is like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below and tell you, boy, what's up? Hey, I want my pipe like that right there. That's what I want. But if you're old to the channel, you already know what it is, man. This vlog is to be a little different. So I came from, uh, well, I dropped a load down in Cary, North Carolina. A load that I did before my second time doing the load. The broker called me back and asked me, did I want to do the load again? I say, send me the Raycon. That's why I told him. Send me the freaking Raycon and we're going to make it happen. So I dropped that load off. And uh, Pops hit me and say, hey, man, I got a broker on the phone. Got a load in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Got two stops in Georgia. First stop, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Then the next stop, North Cross, Georgia. I say, Pops, send me the Raycon. Making it happen. So I just touched back down in Georgia. This went to Wendy's. Don't tell nobody, though. I'm, I'm going to do right, dawg. I'm telling y'all. Saturday, June 1st to my birthday, man, July 15th. I'm going to do right, man. I ain't gonna tell y'all how much I wear. I'm a little heavier than I always been, but I'm gonna see if I can get back down to my fighting weight, man. I wanna get back down to 220. Yeah, all right. I'm 237, dog. 237. Big as heck. But anyway, we gonna talk about how much freedom I got now, man. Like, how can you not wanna do this? And whoever been back here, that's a low right there, by the way. Two stops couple pallets in the back first stop couple pallets in the front second stop but it was a dog dog on some kind of cattle hauler cattle hauler back here and that joker rake all his god dog on you know what out of his trailer back there and over here it smelled like a you know what but i'm gonna get in the truck and we can talk about it all right yo so we in the truck we go ahead and talk about uh how much freedom i got now man like, I would say this, man. You know, running your own situation ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, some days gonna be good, some days gonna be bad. Some weeks gonna be good, some weeks gonna be bad. Some months gonna be good, some months gonna be bad. And I hope no years be bad, but just know that it's gonna be up and down, man. Ups and downs. Like you, you just you you ain't go. It is what it is. <clears throat> if you've been following me from day one. You know the type of stress and the type of pressure and everything that's been on me, you know, from breakdowns. God forbid we don't have any of them no time soon. But that's why you put up for a rainy day. But, you know, you take a load now and, like, man, I get to stop. Like, I really like, the way I like to run is I pick up a load one day. Deliver it the next next morning. Pick up a load after that one and deliver it the next day. You know what I'm saying? If you can get it off in the same day, cool. But it ain't no pressure to get it off in the same day because you got time. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I see what Pops was saying. How he pick up a load, he go to the house, chill out, cut his grass, water the grass, whatever. And uh, get back on the road, drive, shut down for the night, deliver the next morning. Like you got so much more freedom, man. Instead of being with a company and they working you to debt, trying to get everything they can get out of you, man. I just want, like I said, I, I, you can't become a millionaire in this unless you got multiple, quadruple, a fleet of trucks, right? I just wanna, if I can make me a thousand dollars a day, man, I'm good. And so far, all my loads I'm picking up is a thousand plus. Now I might get some 850 back hauls, 900 back hauls, but for the most part, I'm picking up a thousand dollar load plus. I'm going 200 and something mile radius, four hours. Four hours up, four hours down. That's just how I'm trying to run. That's what the, hey, Pots told me, hey, that's the method. And I listen, I, I learn from everybody that talk man like i ain't trying to go to kansas i ain't trying to go to the bottom of florida i ain't trying to go ohio i don't man i done did that man so now i got my own setup to where i'm a i'm gonna pick up in georgia 
a nine hundred dollar load, drop it in Georgia. I'm gonna pick up a thousand dollar load in Georgia. I'm gonna take it to South Carolina. I'm gonna get me something out of South Carolina, and I'm gonna go back to Georgia. Well, I'm gonna go from South Carolina, and I'm gonna go to North Carolina. All I'm doing is a big circle, man. Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. Same thing. Repeat it. That's all I gotta do, man. I ain't trying to be no super trucker. I ain't trying to be a all I uh, one of them cats that think he know it all about trucking, bro. I'm a hustler, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a I'm just a hustler. I just know what a I know how to make what I want. I know how to get out here and make it happen for for myself. And 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 I'm willing to do what it takes for myself to do in order to get what I want. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't no super trucker. I ain't no trucker that gonna tell you that I know it all, bro. I'm learning. This is my journey. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I ain't trying to make. I ain't, bro. I care about being to the house. I care about being to the house. I care about spending time with my boys. Cause I'm a father first. That's my first priority, and I, I was I would preach that to my dying day. Me being a father is more important than anything in the world to me. Now it might not be to nobody else, but I can't control what anybody else thinks. But if I can get out here and make me 45 to 5,000, 4,000 at the minimum a week, I'm good, man. Like I can go to the house. I still got life. I get home on Thursday, like like today. It's Thursday right here when I pick up this load. I'm back in Georgia. I can go home. But for me, it don't make sense for me to pass Lawrenceville and Norcross to get home and then wake up in the morning, get up and go back to, you know what I'm saying? So instead of passing it, what I did is I stopped before I got to it. I'm 32 miles away from my first stop in Lawrenceville. I'm going to wake up in the morning, like at my regular time. I get up at 5 o'clock a.m. I don't got to get up that early now, but the shipper started sipping at 7 o'clock. So I'm going to get up at 5 o'clock, wash my face, brush my teeth, do all my, my personal hygiene stuff, right? I'm going to go. <clears throat> I don't drink coffee. I wish I could because I love to have some coffee in the morning. Now, I drink coffee, I'm at the house, but I ain't drinking coffee while I'm on the truck. If you know, you know. But I'm going to get up, drop 7 o'clock. My, my first drop is 7 o'clock. They started sipping trucks at 7 a.m. So I'm going to be trying to be one of the first ones there. Take a couple pallets off. I'm going to go to my next drop, 9 o'clock. And I'm done. I'm home. I'm home the whole day Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like I said, I can get home tonight, Thursday night. But I had to pass my delivery and then wake up in the morning and come drive back up to my delivery. It don't make sense to me. So instead of passing it, I stopped before I got to it, wake up in the morning, drop, drop. Going to the house, man. Hey, simple as that. Simple as that, man. But it's so much, it's so much freedom now, man, with you know, just doing my own thing. You don't got a company dispatching you, telling you what to do. If you want to work, you work. You you wake up Monday, you wake up Saturday. I mean uh Sunday. It become Monday. You be like, man, I don't feel like working today. Pops did that. Pops did that this week. Pops left me out here by myself this week, man. Pops say, I don't feel like it, dog. Pops was in the truck. In the truck, dog. And said, man, I don't even feel like working this week, dog. I don't even feel like working. Pops been at the house all weekend, all week. Cutting grass, watering his grass, doing stuff around the house. He told me today he was painting his fence. God, dog. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Getting this situation, man. Getting in trucking. Like, to, to, if you got to be away from your family, by all means, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, Cause some people get out here and they grind for a little minute. They so, Trust me, I had to go through that process. This ain't happened overnight, dog. This ain't happened overnight. I had to go through the process, man. I used to run from Florida all the way back. I went Florida, uh, Jacksonville to right at the borderline of New Jersey. From Savannah, Georgia to Ohio. Like I used to run them runs, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I in my mind, I'm like, bro, like, like I'm 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 away from my boys like all week. I get home on Saturday, gotta leave back out Sunday night or Monday, like, nah. So I put in my mind, like, bro, I'm gonna buy me a truck. I'm gonna buy me a truck. Hey, the whole time I was I was making that week, I was putting putting what two hundred two fifty, a five hundred dollars. So I saved ten grand. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, you got to do that, man. Went out there and got me a truck. Now, when I got this truck, Lord knows, this is my baby. This Coco, this is my baby. But before I, I put on a diet, dog, I'm telling you, man. I'm freaking telling you. It's been, bro, it's been a nightmare, for real. It's been a freaking nightmare, dog. But so far, so good, man. You know, all things happen for a reason. And I'm telling you, man, the freedom that I have now is what it's about. If I don't feel like we're on the work, I don't got to work. If I don't feel like booking a load, stay home. <laughs> I really can make $1,000 in three days. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and be back home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Go back out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Be home Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See what I'm saying? It's all about what you want. Now, some fellas, like, they go. Like, they go out two weeks at a time, you know, like 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 the uh, trucking with Tay, trucking with Tay do a whole month during the summer. He get out there and make it happen for a whole month. Run it up for a whole month. Then look at the time when he come back. How much time he can take off? You know what I'm saying? He went out there and made his money. So it's all about how you want to do it, man. But I'm telling you guys, man, if you can do it for a company, you can do it for yourself. Don't listen to the people be like, ah, man, all the overhead. You gotta be smart, man. Keep your paperwork in order, man. You know what I mean? Be smart with your fuel. Like, don't just blow your money. When you make money, save your money. I still pay myself like I work for a company. To be honest with you, I take what I need and the rest go to my business. Straight up. You know what I mean? And I'm and right now, as y'all know, when I was with, I see them over here. 360 in, in, in a motor. When I was with them, like they, bro, they ran me dry, man. So right now I'm in the building process, but at the same time, I'ma still make it to the house and I'ma still build back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Rome wasn't built in a day, dog. And uh, I just wanna encourage everybody, bro. Like, whatever you gotta do, man, to put yourself in a better situation, do that, man. Don't be afraid to take a risk on yourself. You know what I mean? I always told y'all in all my blogs, I'ma bet on myself, dog. I'ma bet on myself. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Look at me now. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still going through things, the process. But at the end of the day, I'm telling y'all, man, it's a whole lot better than running yourself raggedly for a company that don't give a crap about you, man. That will cut you off in the blank of an eye. That you ain't nothing but just a truck number. Don't even know your name. You know what I mean? Get in your own truck. Put your name on the side of your truck. So when they see that truck, they know it's you. When y'all see QSE on the highway, y'all know that's me, dog. Oh, look at the trailer on the back of the mud flaps. You know that's me. Yeah. And I ain't bragging. I ain't boasting. But I'm just telling you. I put in the work. And I'm doggone proud of the things that I have accomplished. And the things that I know I'm going to accomplish. I'm proud of it, man. So, I, I, hey. I represent my company with pride, dog. Because I know what it took to get where I'm at. I know the sacrifices that I made. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get on here today, man. And encourage somebody. If I can do it, dog, not saying it's easy. But I darn sure ain't gave up. Put your back against the wall. Come up with your plan. Know what you want out of it, man. And do the darn own thing, man. Because if people like me can do it, people like Trucker with Take can do it. People like Trucker D Dog. Shout out to Trucker D Dog, man. Who else? Who else I be watching? Fidel trucking, uh, uh, man, so many. It, it's, it's a couple of more people that be hollering at me, dog, on, on on YouTube, man. It's a couple of more people, man. But I, I apologize if I if I ain't call your name. But dog, if people like us can do it, man, you can do it too. Be motivated, man, and uh, stay encouraged and do your thing, man. Straight up, do your thing, man. Because it, it, it's money out here to get. It may not be like it used to be, but if you take your time and you come up with your plan week in and week out, man, you can still make you a little bit, dog. Like I tell you, I ain't, I ain't out here trying to make a killing. I ain't out here trying to make a million dollars because you ain't gonna make a million dollars in trucking. But you can make a couple thousand and you can keep putting up and you can build that couple thousand to a couple more thousand and you can keep stacking that thousand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's 52 weeks in a year, right? 
save a thousand dollars a week. That's fifty two bands, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Who 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 you know that got a 50, got fifty two bands sitting up? Come on, man. Be real. If you make four thousand dollars a week, you tell me you can't live off three thousand dollars a week? Come on, man. Come on. I'm telling you my strategy, man. I'm telling you what I do. <laughs> it is what it is, man. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta take it for me. You ain't gotta take it for me, but I just wanted to encourage somebody, man. But the craziest thing, you know, I seen all day. I'm gonna get off that subject, man, because I I'm starting I'm starting to go on, man. I'm telling you, when I start, I start. The craziest thing I've seen somebody do today. Now I done seen people parking the fuel aisle to take a shower. I done seen people parking the fuel aisle to take a break. But I ain't never seen nobody in the fuel aisle do this right here. Take a look at this, man. Few hours. Now I understand y'all park and y'all uh take a shower and everything. I ain't never seen nobody wash their feet in the few hours. Die. Low. I ain't never seen nobody in the truck stop. Do that right there, man. That Joker been dropped. Watch his dog on feet. In the truck stop, boy. I'm trying to tell you. But y'all know me. I'm going to stop and take me a shower. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to stop and take me a shower. Y'all might see me in a black tee or white tee every single day. Because I got I went to Walmart and I got those those pack of, pack of what? Pack of six? You know what I mean? So I got two packs. That's 12 t-shirts now. I ain't gotta wear my good t-shirts. I put on a black tee, some shorts or whatever, and get put on the boots and go to work. So that's what it is, man. And also shout out to my boy uh Frank Nitty. Y'all go to Frank Nitty channel and tell him. I see him around the city making that noise with that Camaro. Tell him I see him. Y'all go check my boy out. Camaro fly. Camaro fly. But tell him, it's the summertime now. And that rapid blue thing is coming out. It's coming out, bro. So you want to go to Mexico? Y'all go to Frank Nitty page. I don't know if y'all know Frank Nitty. But y'all go to his Facebook page. Uh, not Facebook. Y'all go to his YouTube. Drop in the comment section and tell him. Line him up with young, man. Come on, friend. Hey, you, you know, this is a truck of competition, man. That my boy. His, his, now, don't get me wrong. His Camaro, his Camaro, man. What he did to it. Fire. Fire, bro. Like, I, like it. Fire, bro. So, double salute to my boy Frank Nitty. Shout out to Fredell Trucking. Shout out to Trucking with Tay. All the truckers. Shout out to your boy Wiz. Um, uh, Trucker Trey. Trucking with Trey. Uh, man, everybody, man. If I forget people, man, sorry, I'm human just like everybody. But I just want to let y'all know. I just want to get on here and encourage somebody that if I can do it, you can do it, man. It's money out here to be made. Stay motivated. Stay grounded. Do what you got to do to get out here, man. And then when you get out here, your boy, I see you out here. I may be somewhere chilling. Because I got double time. Time is money, but I got number time. I'm making the money and I got time. I'm finna kick back. I'm finna kick back. I'm done for the day. I still got hours. I still got five hours on the clock, but I'm done. Because I'm 21 miles away from my stop. They gonna take me at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna drop it like it's a bad habit. Go to my second stop and I'm gonna drop it like it's a bad habit. Then I'm going to the house. I'm gonna take me a good shower. Then I don't know. I'm gonna chill out. I might put on some clothes. I might, you know, I might meet, you know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do But just know It's your boy Young And like I always tell you It is what it is Control your destiny Control what you can control c Control your, 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 your journey You know what I'm saying Control your journey Because you can be anything that you want to be All you got to do is put your mind to it You know, stay stay grinding, stay hustling And uh, it'll happen for you, man It'll happen for you If you're new to the channel All I said you do is like, comment, subscribe Drop a comment down below and tell your boy what's up. If you're old to the channel, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Young, and I'm signing out. Young!